Hey, what's up, guys? This is RJ, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat for Championship Season Let's Play. Right now, I'm going to be doing Race 22 of 36 and the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. And for today's race, I'm going to be going to Watkins Glen International, Watkins Glen, New York, for the running of the Gold Bowling at the Glen. So, Watkins Glen, it's a road course race, and it's going to be 23 laps down there. So, the previous race I did was at Pocono, and Pocono went really, really well. Definitely turned out a lot better than the first Pocono race. I ran top three for most of that race, so that was pretty good. Got to lead some laps. And then we got to the end where we had to make pit stops. I took two tires in that stop. And unfortunately, though, um, I fell back to third in the pit stop because I, I took two tires and the rest of the field took um, just fuel. So Kyle Busch got the win in that race, and I ended up finishing third, which which wasn't too bad. Definitely a lot better than how the first Pokemon race turned out. I just wish there could have been a win, but it is what it is. But I'll still take third. So now we go to Watkins Glen, and I feel really good about this race. I'm a little bit concerned of how the bus stop is going to be because the bus stop at this racetrack is one of my worst corners. So we'll see how this goes. And then that's a look at the championship most things. That should remind me what they look like. Um, I'm going to put the cautions at Relax Jello for today's race because this is a road course race. And I did promise that for road course races, I would have it on Relax Jello. So I'm going to put the Relax Jellos on for this race. And once we go to Michigan next race, I'll have it back to strict yellow. So, so that's what's going to change for this race and then let's look at the playoff standings so with five races left to go to the playoffs i still lead the playoff standings with my eight wins and so because kyle bush has got a second win of the season we have now five we we now have five drivers now with um multiple wins this season so so that's pretty interesting six on back and still has one win and also have drivers that's looking for um wins this season but as you can look, Ryan Blaney is right now in that last spot. By 54 points ahead of Kyle Larson. And then let's look at the regular season points thing. So I still got a pretty good, decent lead right now. If, as long as I keep having good runs, I should definitely win the regular season points thing. So that's pretty interesting. And as of Matt's bad data stat, he is right now 31st in the point standings, which he is 10 points below the cutoff line in the top 30. So Matt's bad data is still pretty close in that top 30 spot. He just needs to have some good runs the next... The next five races before the playoffs start. So let's go racing at my home track at Watkins Glen. So let's just jump right into qualifying and let's get our starting position for the race. Well, there goes my qualifying lap. I was running a pretty decent lap, but then I just got loose off that corner and that kind of cost me a bit. So it's going to be a 109.95 and ninth place. I could have definitely done a lot, lot better if I didn't hit that wall coming off that corner, but it is what it is. I still got a top 10 run, which isn't too bad, but probably could have maybe had the pole for this race if I didn't mess up that, but it is what it is. But it looks like Mark Trick Shoes could get the pole for this race. Wow, Matt's bad down to third. Okay. And it looks like I'm still going to start ninth in this race. I'll put the car down to a three, just to be on the safe side. So... Five races left to go until the playoffs start. Race 22 is, go is going to happen here at the Glen. So let's get this race underway. And here we go. Second road course of three road course races. And the green flags in the air run away here at the Glen. Just like I didn't qualify, I messed up that corner. So we're going to complete the first lap, and Mark Trick Shoes is going to be the first lap. But I did the exact same thing, just like I did in qualifying, was messed up that um, corner. 
I could have been up to third if it wasn't for that, but I dropped back to fifth. So I'm all right right now. I made a little bit of contact with the guys on that one. Made some contact with Match Benedetto, and then made some contact with Kyle Bush a couple of times. So I didn't look like I suffered any um, front. I did suffer a little bit of front end damage, but not really that bad. Oh, come on, car. I just got loose. Okay, thank goodness that's not a course, Conti. Yeah, see right there, that's sometimes one of my worst corners at this racetrack is the bus stop. I know I went wide right there, but that is part of the racetrack as well. A lot of drivers do that in real life. Okay, that time I got to the corner perfectly that time. So it's going to be a 22 lap race here at the Glen. Even though it's at 23. Yeah, Watkins Glen's just always been a um, short race. Even in real life, they run like 90 laps here. So Truex still leads. I'm still running in the fifth spot. I'm gaining on Kyle Busch and Chase Elliott, so I feel like I could get up to third if I don't mess up. Now, of course, the last real course was it, the last real course race I went to was Sonoma, and I ran the top ten for most of that race. I got caught with the late race caution, got the win there. Almost looks like I could be doing the same here. Except this time I'm running up towards the top five. So yeah, this race. One of my home race tracks. I always used to go to this race. I still go today. Um, in present time. It's always a lot of fun going to um, Watkins Glen. A lot of fun. Especially going out to the pits. That's just an awesome time. And right about right here, turn number one, like right here is for, oh wow, all right. I just got hit the back by Chase Elliott. But right back there is where I normally sit because turn one is usually where all the action happens. And especially is where most of the wrecks happen. I'll tell you what too, 2019, the last time I went to the Glen, you know, I usually like hang down in the pits, you know, I just hang down in the pits, but one of the, um, one of the workers at the Glen, we didn't have garage passes, but the worker actually let us, let us, um, get it, go into, go into the garage because we were out waiting for the, um, cars to come and it was taking a little while for the cars to come, but one of the workers actually let us go into the garage and it was like, Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm used to seeing the garage in per um, on TV, but seeing the garage in person was really, really cool. So I still give that guy a huge shout out. Because if it wasn't for him, I don't think we would never ever been back to the into the garage before. Now, unfortunately, we didn't meet, see any drivers in the garage, but we did see the cars really close by, which is really, really cool. Of course, we weren't allowed to touch the cars, though, but it was still cool to um, go backstage and go into the garage. That was, that's probably one of my um, best years ever of going to the Glen so far, going backstage in the garage. But now that I was talking about that, I did get up to the third spot. I got around Kyle Busch. So far, Mark Trick Shoes led every lap in this race. We do have 12 laps when we make our first pit stop. I also got around Chase Elliott too. I'm trying to take it easy going into that corner so I don't mess up and hit the bump and get loose because I did that twice. I did it during qualifying and I hit it on lap one. That was a better lap. So five laps complete here at Watkins Glen. Martin Trick Shoes still leads. I just got Chase Holly gaining on me just a little bit too. I 
That was a good corner that time going to the bus stop. Probably one of my best corners so far in this lap. I'm starting to gain up to Cliff Boyer. I feel like I got good straight line speed. So I have been going to um I have been going to um Watkins play the team the races ever since 2009, which those years has been one of my best years. Except I'm not sure if this year it's gonna be possible me making it because of you know all this um pandemic stuff like this virus stuff. You know what sucks too is that um Whoa, I thought I was gonna hit that wall right there. That was very close. But I did get by Cliff Boyer. So that's one mistake I do not want to do in this race is hit that wall going into the bus stop. But I, what sucks about it too is that I don't think I'll be able to see, you know, my driver, Jimmy Johnson, you know. I've been um, a fan of his for um, ever since I started watching racing, but I don't think that um, I'll be able to see his last race because of all this um, virus stuff that's going on. But I'll still get to see the race, maybe on TV itself. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I am starting to chase down Shurex a little bit. He's still got a good lead. Alright, RK, why are you not shifting? I have no idea. Alright, yep, this is where it starts getting really annoying getting loose in the S's. That gets annoying too. I don't know why that's a thing. Looks like Truex got the grass just a little bit right there. Yeah, I'm starting to chase him down. I I got a good I got a fast car. If I can just hit my marks better into the corners. I feel like that's the only thing that's um I'm messing up a lot is me getting into the corners. Other than that, I feel like this car is really good. I have 14 laps to go here at the Glen. So far, so good. One car is hitting already. I don't know if he's hitting fuel already or if he's out of the race. Oh, we still have to make pit stops in my last. I just hit the wall. And I suffered a little bit of arrow damage. And I got Chase Elliott behind me. Wow, Truex took the grass again. I just realized, too, this just popped up in my mind. Neymar Truex Jr. is actually bound to win the last road course race we went to, which was Sonoma. And look at this, me and Truex is running 1-2 again at a road course. So it's like deja vu all over again. Oh, I thought Chase Elliott was kidding, I was about to say. But yeah, the one thing the AIs like to do sometimes at this track, is sometimes they like to send it in the turn number one, which I don't know why, but they just like to send it in, in the turn number one. That's been a thing since T3, honestly. bit loose that time I'm all right though all right so we are approaching lap traffic right now that is Tyler Reddick tell you what Tyler Reddick's not having a good run oh whoa 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 BJ McLeod with this issue oh he's gonna pull down right and 
right down, okay. Well, crap, man. I don't know why BJ McCall comes down like that. I don't know why he didn't just get off the track. I suffered a lot of damage. I mean, I'm still right there at Truex. It's no big deal, but I still wish he got out of the way because I suffered more damage. Oh, well, not that much, but... All right. I just got loose right off the corner. I'm fine, but dang it. See, I don't know why that's a thing, you know, where you get loose in the, in the um, S's. That's so annoying. And I'm barely hitting the gas to get off the corner, too. And now Blaney's going around. My bad for that. So I think for these road course non-cautions. Oh my god, what? Alright, Tyler Rick, you need to get out of the way now. Goodness gracious, now frustration starting to kick in. I don't really have the speed that I had before. So this is not good. All because I barely hit the gas to get off the corner. Yeah, I got a lot of engine damage. I got arrow. Yeah, all because I barely hit the gas to get off the corner. Okay, that time I don't get loose. And Kyle Busch is going to get around me. All right. This race was going really well. I don't I don't know if that's gonna happen now or not, unless the Nart caution comes out. Alright, I don't know why they're breaking so much, but Kyle Bush goes around. I didn't mean for that. Oh my god, I'm driving dangerously right now. I'm being a, way too aggressive. I'm not meaning to take people out, it's just I'm, I don't know why they're hitting the gas so much, unless I'm overdriving the corner, which I don't think I am. I had to back off the gas, I didn't hit that bump, and now I gotta let Clint Boyer go. Well, this race was going well, you know. Oh, Blaney got back up here. Blaney must got got it back going. Kyle Busch too, so I don't think he lost any spots. Yeah, I hope they fix that heat fiber when you get loose off the S's. That gets really annoying. I don't know why that's a thing in this game. It's super annoying. Well, I'm still running pretty decent right now, but I just don't have the speed that I had before. And I'm also feeling the effects of this car being too tight. That sucks. I mean, the BJ McCloud situation was fine with me, but... The car was so fast before I had suffered that damage, but... If it wasn't for um, the car getting loose, I probably would have been leading by now, because... I was faster than Truex. So we have nine laps to go right now. Oh, I overdrove the corner that time. Now there goes Blaney. Yeah, I'm just dropping like a rock now. But oh, see, there it goes again. What the heck? I'm barely hitting the gas to get off the corner. That's so stupid. Like. Why? Like, this race is going super well. Now I gotta worry about the S's. Normally it's the bus stop I need to worry about. Now it's the S's. Now I even suffer probably even more damage. Yeah, look at that. We're from 63 to 60. I'm gonna say it as long as I can, though. 
I don't know how many spots I'm gonna lose, but I'm gonna have to fix this damage so I can maintain my speed. I'll probably pit next time by. Got eight laps to go right now. God damn. This is so stupid. Like, I'm barely hitting the um, analog stick. Well, I'm barely hitting R2 to get off the gas, and I'm still getting loose in that corner. That's so annoying. And because of my frustrations, I overdrove the bus stop. And I'm about to spin out again. Yeah, I'm pitting this time. Bye, guys. This is ridiculous now. Oh my god, this race was going so well. I was running second, ready to capitalize on Truex. I thought I was faster than him. And now all of a sudden this. Alright, I'm pitting this time by. I forgot what the pit road speed is. Okay, 40. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, oh no, I gotta take... Uh... Yeah, we'll go with that. I need to fix the damage, you know. Oh, this is a slow pit box. Just like Denny Hammond out of this race. So something must have happened to him. Alright, how long is this pit stop going to be? I don't know. 36 seconds. I'm going to go a lap down for sure. Matter of fact, I'm going to probably lose a lot of spots, maybe. Uh, but you know that's so stupid when you barely hit the gas to get off the corner That's so stupid Now I just gotta wait Yep, Truex is close by. I'm gonna go a lap down for sure, but he still needs to pit Yep, there he is So retarded, I'm sorry, but it's so retarded when that happens. You barely hit the gas to get off the corner. Oh, come on, game. I wasn't even in the corner that time. I was going straight. How do you get loose going straight? That doesn't make any sense. This game is just trying everything in its power to mess me up today. Oh my god, like... I hope you guys see that, like... I got loose going into the straightaway, like how does that make any sense? How do you get loose going into the straightaway? That... I'm, tr I'm just trying to mind my own business, and you know, this game is trying everything in its power to wreck me. You know. Alright, these guys are pitting. I don't know where I'm going to be back to, but I don't think it's going to be good. Embarrassment into my home track, you know. Some guys are actually in pit road right now. Five laps to go. 
So I got five laps to go. I'm looks like I'm gonna be in 17th. I'm not sure where I'm gonna be at when this um when these pit stops are psych cycle I don't I know I'm not gonna be in the top ten. I know that. Unless more guys need to pit, I'm not sure though. A lot of chase side, extra cycle loss to race leader. I would love if a caution comes out, that would be really nice. I don't think it's going to be a top 10 tonight, guys. I don't know. Unless, unless a caution comes out, we'll see. But, you know, all because I barely hit the gas to get off the corner. And the car just spins out on me. Oh, come on, Corey LaJoy. Thanks, bro. Now I got more damage. Oh my god. This race is just has not gone the right way today. Really, 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 really. God damn! Sorry for the fr oh, there's a caution, but come on. How do you how do you barely hit bumps and you still go sideways? Like, th does that make any sense? Like, come on. No, I'm staying out. I'm gonna be aggressive. I don't care. Oh man, this is just so frustrating. This was a fast car for sure. You know, you barely hit bumps and you still get sideways and wrecked. Oh my god, I just hit Newman so hard. I'm just being aggressive at this point. And I um, don't think I'm going to have any speed. Yeah, for... I'm not going to win this race, definitely. Let's see if I can hold on for a top 10 at least. So just like last time, you get a caution at the end of the race. Still passing cars. Can I maybe crack a top five? I don't know. Let's see. I don't mess up any corners. Oh, McMurray's gonna get around me. Alright, white flag in the air, guys. Chase Elliott leading. Trying to see if I can hang out for a top 10 finish. Don't think I'm going to be able to pass anyone else now. But I think that restart was the best I could have done. Oh no, no, no! Nope, I'm sorry. I want a top 10. Nope. 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 Come on, top 10. I'm sorry, Kurt. Eric Jones, what are you doing? Well, he went around, but what was he doing? He just went straight. Oh, no. I know I'm holding up these guys, but I'm on a top 10 at least. Oh, there goes Kurt. No, I want 10th. I want 10th. I think Chase Elliott's going to win, but I want a top 10. Amarillo, no, neither. I want top 10. Can I hang out for a top 10? Please? Alright, I'm gonna get 10th. 
So chase all your words, I'm gonna get tempt. Oh man, that race wasn't too good. I mean, I'm happy for temp, but that wasn't the best. I had a good race car until I got loose off the corner. I want to go back to that just a couple laps ago. Um, hold on one second, guys. Okay. Hold on, I want to see this last clip. Look at this. I mean, I know I, first, I forced Kirk Bush off the track, but... What was that from Eric Jones? I mean, I... It looked like a turn, but he just wouldn't stay straight. He wouldn't turn. Look at that. I mean, I think I did turn early just a little bit, but... I think... I don't know. I don't know whose fault it was at first. But... It looked like... Uh, maybe I did turn a little bit too early. I'm not sure. But it looked like at first that Eric Jones just wouldn't turn at first. So I don't know what happened there. Okay, I found this section too. Look at this. Watch this. Look at that. Look. How do you get straight going into a straightaway? That doesn't make any sense. Let's go slow motion. Look. Straight away, the car stays straight, and then, you know, once I get to the middle of the track, that's when it decides to get loose. Like, how? How does that make any sense? That's never happened to me before. Like, how do you get loose after completing a turn? Like, that's so stupid. Like, look at that one more time. How do you get loose like that? That doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. Whatever, though. It is what it is. So race results at Watkins Glen, Chase Elliott gets the win. So I think that was his first win of the season. And it's not a surprise that Chase Elliott won because Chase Elliott's won the last two Watkins Glen races. So, wow, look at this. Chase Elliott, Martin Truex, Truex Jr. first, second. That's that's realistic right there, real life. So Chase Elliott wins, Martin Truex Jr. second, Ryan Blaney third, Kyle Busch fourth, Jimmy Johnson fifth, Kyle Larson sixth, Jamie McMurray seventh, Ryan Newman eighth, Kurt Busch ninth, and then I round up your top ten. So 11th on back, Eric Amaral 11, David Reagan 12, Alex Bowman 13, Kevin Harvick 14, Chris Buescher 15, Matt Spadetto 16th, Daniel Henrik 17, William Byron 18, Austin Dillon 19th, the Brad Keselowski rounds up your top 20. 21st on back, Joey Logano 21st, Eric Jones 22nd, Ricky Stenhouse 25th, Brendan Gaughan 27th, and he is the last car to finish on the lead lap, so 27 cars in the lead lap for today's race. Paul Bernard 28th, the first car lap down, and then Daniel Suarez rounds up the top 30. So 31st on back, uh, Matt Tiff 31st, Ryan Priest 35th, Clint Boyer 39th, and he finished 7 laps down. Running out the field in the 40 spot, in and last place finishing 18 laps down is Denny Hamlin. So I'm still the points leader still. Oh, because of that, of Hamlin falling out of the race, um, that allows me to pull away in the points, so it's not too bad. Let's see, I think Matt's bad that'll finish in the top 10. Yeah, look at that. Matt Spadetto in the top 30. So Matt Spadetto is now eligible to be in the playoffs. But he's 10 points ahead of Michael McDowell, though. So we'll have to see how that goes. And yes, that was Chase Elliott's first win of the season. So Chase Elliott is now locked into the playoffs. So attempt today at Watkins Glen. Should have been a winning car. I I had I know I had the fastest car, but you know it, you just get loose off the corner and it just spins out in the S's. That's just so annoying. I, I hope that gets adjusted in Heat Five, but I still pick up a top ten. Not the way I wanted it to, because that was a little bit dirty racing, but it is what it is. So now we go on to Michigan, and at least we're going to a track that I feel really good about. Because the last time I, I was at Michigan, I basically dominated that Michigan race, so I feel really good about Michigan. So we'll see how that goes. So that's look what the playoff standings look like. So now we have 11 different winners this season. So with four races left until the playoffs start, five spots are left to grab. 11 spots are taken, and that means there are only five spots. And as of right now, Ryan Blaney is in that last spot by 13 points ahead of Clint Boyer. So it is pretty close, but if Matt Spadetto falls outside the top 30 again, that spot will go back into Clint Boyer. 
So, that gap is a little bit close between Ryan Blaney and Clint Boyer. However, for the rest of the guys, though, Kyle Larson, I'm back. I think they're going to have to win in order to get a shot into the playoffs. I don't see them getting in with four races left to the playoff start. So, Kyle Larson, I'm back, and has to win. Um, looks like I think Clint Boyer is the only one can, that can get in on points. Everyone else is going to have to win. So, guys, that was Watkins Glen. Next race going to be at Michigan for the um, Consumers Energy 400. So, guys, make sure you do leave a like in this video. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And make sure you do turn on post notifications as well. So, guys, I'll see you all in the next race. This is RJ saying peace out.